Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 1st to 5th of June 2013. A significant coronal hole formation has rotated the eastern limb of the solar corona and the energetic components within this region may indicate a possible foreshadow for a 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We now look in the latest Chroma Hole information via Solon.info and we see this very large region has been numbered to CH571 and it is classified as a trans-equatorial coronal hole. Now we should see two effects from this region, first in the northern hemisphere and then shortly after in the southern hemisphere once this region becomes geo-effective. Later solar imagery of multiple angstrom or filter ranges show a striking feature. An area central or along the equator has caught my attention and may be an indication for an epicenter point for this potential earthquake. We're now focusing on the eastern limb of the solar corona using the SDO composite moving imagery where we see the rapid emergence of this very large coronal hole formation rotating into view. Though this coronal hole formation has doubled in size over the last 24 hours and it should be moving through an earth facing position on May 30th and this will become geo effective on the 31st into June 1st and we should see some strong increases in solar winds once this does so. Now we should see two strong impacts on the Earth's magnetic field coming from components of both hemispheres of this coronal hole formation. The northern hemisphere component will affect the Earth's magnetic field or its high speed solar wind stream arrive on the 31st of May but a much stronger impact is expected a day later once the southern hemisphere component of this coronal hole formation buffers the Earth's magnetic field and we should see solar winds rise to approximately 700 km a second. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map where we see the earth facing position is represented by this black dot and this oval moving from right to left in this image. And this is a visual representation of what we can expect with the coronal hole formation moving through an earth facing position on May 30th. We're now looking at a 211 angstrom image with an overlay of coronal hole boundaries and also magnetic field lines coming from these regions. Now what is interesting with this very large coronal hole formation, the energetic component is just south of the equator but the actual magnetic field lines are tilted slightly north which further supports the potential for an earthquake around the equator regions here on the earth. I'm now going to plot and map this large coronal hole formation to the earth with solar symmetry and my number one area for concern is for Indonesia during this watch specifically the regions of northern Sumatra, southern Sumatra and the Kepalua Mentawi region. And my second area for concern or the second zone will be for the Banda Sea, the Malacca Sea and Papua Indonesia. Now we have had some very powerful and deep earthquakes in the Sea of Okhotsk region in Russia. Now if that trend continues the very deep earthquakes tend to occur in the Banda Sea region in Indonesia. This is definitely worth keeping a close note of during this watch. We're now looking at the global real-time ionospheric map where we have a very powerful reading of 16 megahertz registered on this service earlier today. Now these are significant readings and we haven't had this larger reading for around a month so it's definitely worth monitoring and the area of focus is just southwest of Indonesia. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE. Now the last 48 hours we've had a significant impact from a coronal mass ejection released from the sun. This saw solar wind spike upward to 850 kilometers a second and we also had a long lasting or long duration geomagnetic storm here on the earth. Now we should see solar winds drop quite drastically down to around 350 kilometers a second over the next 24 to 48 hours. And this could give a green light to strong earthquakes here on the earth over the next few days as solar winds fall. Now the main area is log entry 312 which I am concerned with which may produce a strong event and also the New Zealand region may receive a shake over the next 24 to 36 hours. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 27th of May 2013. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.